Greetings, legends, and today we are finally, finally going to cover one of my favorite comic book villains of all time. Daredevil Season 3 is approaching, and it's long been rumored that one of the main antagonists is going to be a fan favorite from Daredevil history. Today we are going to cover one of the most ruthless killers in the Marvel Universe, the Master of Precision, Bullseye. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the bell so that you get all of the notifications for our latest videos. Bullseye is a pretty tremendous character in my opinion, and, and one that fans have been asking to see done in a proper way ever since we were forced to sit through the god-awful version played by Colin Farrell in 2003's Daredevil, a movie so bad it nearly tanked the entire comic book movie industry forever. When Marvel acquired the rights to Daredevil and subsequently announced the live-action reboot for Netflix, fans started to believe that maybe the deep emotional scars that we all suffered could be finally healed. So we learn to hope again. We learn to love again. And ultimately, Bullseye may be set to make his rightful on-screen rebirth or debut in this third season of Netflix's Daredevil. In honor of this, let's take a look at Bullseye's history, some of the coolest things he's done in the comics, his powers, and some little-known facts and alternate appearances. Alright, history time. So let's start by discussing Bullseye's first appearance. Bullseye made his debut in Daredevil 131 and was created by Marv Wolfman, Bob Brown, Klaus Johnson, and John Romita Sr. This issue saw Bullseye killing a man in order to extort money, and he later faced Daredevil and informed him of his uncanny ability to turn any throwable object into a deadly precision weapon. Bullseye arguably has no backstory, or at least no backstory that's set in stone. He's similar to the Joker in that way, and part of the allure of Bullseye is the fact that you don't need to know where he came from. He simply shows up and starts turning people's lives into absolute shit. One element of his backstory appears in his debut appearance when a reporter mentions that Bullseye was in Vietnam and enjoyed killing, maybe a little too much and during a particular mission, an enemy got the drop on him, and he threw his gun at him and killed him. He later spends a good bit of time honing his craft on various mercenary missions after his stint in the army is done. Bullseye also plays with his own backstory when interrogated, much like the Joker, weaving complex narratives and completely changing them the next time they're discussed. He's claimed to have burned his house down to the ground with his abusive father alive within it, only to turn around and state in a different interview that his father passed out drunk and he painted a bullseye on his head and shot him. Another time he claimed to be a minor league baseball player who, when getting bored of throwing no hitters, decided to murder another player with a baseball. When he killed this player, he simply uttered the words, bullseye. This type of background should be really familiar to anybody who's seen The Dark Knight. You want to know how I got these scars? That's the type of setup we're looking at when it comes to Bullseye. So let's discuss some history that we know to be true. Bullseye is hired to kill Matt Murdock, the secret identity of Daredevil, and when he's defeated, he believes his reputation as an assassin is ruined. He slowly goes off the deep end, and each time he faces Daredevil, he becomes more and more ruthless and more and more insane. Eventually, he's deemed to be mentally insane due to a tumor growing in his brain. He starts hallucinating that random people are Daredevil and attacking them. He's again defeated by Daredevil, and the tumor is removed. Bullseye's greatest feat within the comics occurs after being released from prison. Bullseye is hired by the Kingpin as his chief assassin. Shortly thereafter, Bullseye is defeated again by Daredevil, and thusly fired by Kingpin. Embarrassed and discredited, Bullseye leaves prison and returns to find that Kingpin had hired Elektra in his place. Furious, Bullseye kills Elektra with a playing card and her own signature sigh. This doesn't impress Kingpin, who claims that he'll only rehire Bullseye if he manages to kill Daredevil. Bullseye manages to track down Daredevil, and an emotionally enraged Daredevil and Bullseye fight while on top of a telephone wire. Bullseye falls off, seemingly to his death. He's later found to have survived, but shattered his spine, paralyzing him. Daredevil, emotionally distraught from the loss of Elektra, arrives and plays a game of Russian roulette with Bullseye, still in his hospital bed. Bullseye claims that this is one of the most unforgivable things that Daredevil has ever done to him, and one of the main points why he always has held a grudge against Daredevil. Bullseye is able to make a full recovery from his paralysis with the help of adamantium. 
His spine and bones are laced with the indestructible metal, and he attempts to return to Kingpin's employment, but first must prove his worth by defeating Deadpool. After Daredevil contracts a form of amnesia, Bullseye puts on his costume and performs a series of robberies around New York. He robs the rich and gives to the poor, but due to the fact that Bullseye is a crazy person, he eventually starts to believe that he's actually Daredevil, until the real Daredevil, wearing a Bullseye costume, again defeats him. Bullseye's next feat comes when he murders Karen Page, Daredevil's longtime girlfriend, using Daredevil's own billy club during a kidnap mission for Mysterio. Daredevil is none too pleased. When Daredevil's identity is leaked, Bullseye attempts to track him down once more and kill him. This time, Daredevil snaps and beats him nearly to death, and carves a bullseye into his forehead. Daredevil also mocks him during this battle, stating his real name is Lester, his mother was a prostitute, and that his father abandoned him. Just to switch things up a bit, Bullseye is next recruited by the Thunderbolts program after the events of Civil War. These are villains who do classified missions for the government in exchange for time off their sentence or a stay of execution. Bullseye is the last line of resort for the Thunderbolts, often not being used until there are no other options. Bullseye is by far the most likely to disobey orders and by far the most questionable member of the team. He's often only used when Norman Osborn, who runs the program, wanted someone killed or a teammate injured. After spending time in the Thunderbolts, Bullseye even helps defeat the Skrulls during the events of Secret Invasion. As a reward for helping Osborn defeat the Skrulls, during the events of Dark Reign, Bullseye is given the position of Hawkeye on Norman's Dark Avengers. During his time in the Dark Avengers, he fights Deadpool, Morgan Le Fay, the Hulkbuster armor, and Elektra. Norman Osborn commands Bullseye to kill Daredevil, who had recently begun commanding the Hand. When Bullseye and Daredevil fight, Bullseye rigs the building to explode. Instead of saving 100 people in the building, Daredevil continues to fight Bullseye. He flees, the building explodes, and Daredevil is left to his grief. After the events of Siege, Bullseye was in transit to Rikers Island. He fakes cardiac arrest, kills his guards, and flies to Hell's Kitchen to once again confront Daredevil, who is now the leader of the Hand. But this is not the same Daredevil that Bullseye had fought before. This Daredevil beats him nearly to death, breaks both of his arms, and stabs Bullseye through the heart with his own sigh in the way that he did to Elektra in the past. Bullseye then subsequently dies. Bullseye is later revived by Lady Bullseye using her extensive knowledge of the Hand's resurrection abilities, yet Bullseye's injuries were way too vast, and he is now an invalid unable to survive without a metal lung. Despite his handicaps, he manages to weave a tangled revenge plan involving Lady Bullseye and an assassin named Akari who has similar powers to Daredevil while retaining his eyesight. Daredevil does eventually track Bullseye down and deduces that he's the mastermind of the person that's been tearing his life apart. During the battle with Lady Bullseye and Akari, a support beam is broken and Bullseye gets chemicals into his eyes, leaving him blind and a prisoner within his own body. After the events of 2015's Secret Wars, Bullseye has been restored to his former self. So that was a boatload of history, but what about Bullseye's powers? Well, Bullseye is a master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, as I mentioned before, and he's able to hold his own against heroes like Daredevil and defeat others like Deadpool. He's a master assassin and an extremely skilled tacticianer. However, his most notable ability is the downright inhuman ability to turn nearly anything into a deadly throwing projectile. Due to his proficiency with aiming, he's able to be deadly with nearly any item available to him, including everything from firearms to office stationery. Also, as I mentioned before, he has adamantium-laced bones and a spinal cord, making his bones indestructible. Now, what about some random facts and alternate appearances? Remember how I mentioned that Bullseye uses anything as a deadly weapon? Well, he's used paper airplanes, office stationery, and he once used a poodle as a weapon. During his time in the Thunderbolts, Bullseye kills the Sentry's wife. When he does, she asks him what his real name is. He tells her his name is Ben, which could possibly be a reference to the Ultimate version of Bullseye. Bullseye's alias in the Ultimate universe was Benjamin Poindexter, probably the coolest, nerdiest name ever. An alternate version of Bullseye from Daredevil Noir is female and named Eliza, who Daredevil falls in love with but must kill. However, the greatest and worst alternate depiction of Bullseye is Colin Farrell, 
which we've covered before, and I don't even know why I'm covering this again, because the pain is too real. Well, that is about it for this informative video. I hope you've learned a lot about Bullseye, and as always, if you learned something, tell a friend and pretend you knew it all along. All I humbly ask is that if you did learn something, please make sure to like and subscribe. This has been Nick with Key Issues, and you know the motto by now, man. It's comics over everything.